Fall in the depths Trying to escape From this in love It hurt me so But I'm not brave I'm not brave Not enough Yeah I wanna come in back And go But it's not gonna be the one next to me. Like, the, there's two Walmart, okay? So when you get to your stoplight, there's the Walmart that's like on the back and avenue, and there's another Walmart on the left that is like right next to my Target. But I'm not gonna go to that Walmart because they don't have a lot of options. So I'm just gonna go to another Walmart. Anyways, so today is Monday. I finally saw episode seven of House of the Dragons. Oh my God. You guys, that episode by far is the best episode. I loved it. And you know, like what's so funny is that episode five was really, really amazing. Episode seven was even more amazing. I I mean, if this, if this is the truth, I cannot wait for episode 8 because like if episode 5 and 7 were this good episode 8 is gonna be like mega good like my expectations are that high guys oh my god um so obviously this is gonna be a spoiler but I'm just gonna go with what is coming off the top of my head and that is Damon and Rhaenyra Targaryen had finally tied the knot they are married but oh my god what's even worse is that Lanyor is not actually dead Lanyor Valerian is not actually dead so I'm just like what is gonna happen if he comes back like literally what's gonna happen if he comes back like this is this is crazy i mean if he even comes back and so i'm just like you know stoking it all in and it's just amazing the show is amazing you guys like oh my god also that fight with like the children like with veneer children and a uh what's his name not Aegon, Amen. Like, I, that would just turn violently so quick. Like, it turned violent. It turned violent so quick for no reason. Like, it just turned violent. And I was like, whoa. Like, it just turned violent for such young children. But, like, the bullying is understandable. I'm calling it bullying because that is what happened. Um... And oh my god, now Amon has a dragon, and that dragon is Vagar. Oh my god, and the scene where Allison, like, I literally thought the scene where Allison wants an eye for an eye, literally, she wants to take out the young son's eye, not Joffrey, but the other one. And I'm just like, I think his name was Luke, maybe, I think. But, like, he, she just wanted an eye for an eye, and the King Vestalius was not having at it. She literally took a knife, and she tried to get the boy's eye, but Rhaenyra's won't let her. Like, this is crazy. Like, and she cut Rhaenyra's at the end. Like, Allison is an amazing, great character. I love her. Like, I, it's like a love-hate relationship with her because it just, even Damon and Rhaenyra and Allison, those three are my top favorite characters because they are such 
a complex of great characters and I love them so much. But like like Allison and Damon, sometimes I don't even like them. But like, oh my god, the the complexity of great characters in the show is amazing. Because you know, the concept of a great character that they have good and bad in them. Like it's not they're not the heroes, but they're not the villain, you know? And so like to put that aspect into real life, to put that aspect of good and bad, even I believe that every single one of us are great characters because we have good and bad in us. It's just the matter of how we portray it, it's the matter of how we approach things. But everyone has good and bad inside of them. So like this show is literally just great characters. Like, there's no such thing as a villain, although there is one villain, but, you know, we're not going to talk about him because he is just a psycho, like, a literal psycho. But, like, the way that these characters are great characters and they have complexity in them, and the way that, you know, it, it balances with the immortality and it balances with family and blood and, you know, like, it's just so... I need to bring my uh, speeding down because I just passed the finish car. Anyway, but it's just so like amazing how they are like as characters. I I'm sorry guys, I'm just rambling on, but yes, episode seven was amazing and I just, I literally was so happy with this episode. I low key, Try not to have my expectations set so high for shoot TV shows and movies, cause I don't I don't want to be disappointed, you know. So, but no, this episode was amazing, and if you guys haven't seen it already, you really need to go and see it because oh my god, it is amazing. Um, yeah, we're almost to Walmart. I'll take you guys along with me, and yeah, I will see you guys later. So in my last video, in the October video, I mentioned how I wanted to do the cup. Came to the Walmart that had them, which is surprisingly the Wal the cup that I need. So I'm gonna take one, but I'm gonna make sure that it's the same price, this one probably, or maybe the pink one, we'll see what happens. But I wish they had white in this. Maybe I would have taken that, but I'll probably take the pink one, just, you know, just test it out. But yeah, these are all the cups that they have. But I just needed something like this. So yeah, mission accomplished. Ooh. Hey guys, so we're back in the car now. I just got my stuff. Now we're gonna go to Aldi's because I need some stuff from Aldi's. And let's be honest, this way she put in Walmart. I, th I spent like $61. I think $50. I mean, let me check my receipt because honestly, I'm a little bit sketched out about it. Yeah, $61.59. Just Walmart. But you, like, I just got things for my family and now I put it on my card. Not regretting my life choice, but at the same time, kind of. But it's whatever. I love them. Okay, so we're gonna go to Aldi's, like I said. See if we can find anything, and yeah. Didn't really take you guys along with me, but I am planning something special for Howda, so if she's watching this, yeah, I'm planning something special. So, yep, we're gonna go to Aldi's. Okay, you guys, so I am back in my car now, and 
Let me tell you the tea. Yeah, there, there's tea. The Aldi is like the cheaper version of Walmart. And it's so much better. I'm like talking cheap, cheap. Like, for an example, some of these snacks cost like four, three dollars at Walmart originally. But Aldi, they're like two, one dollars. Like, it's, it's mind blowing. So, of course, as you guys saw, I got like this new bag that has avocados on it because I love avocados. But because I didn't have anything to get with me, like, I just, I forgot that they don't do bags at Aldi, so I just bought one. It's like whatever. It's not that expensive either. It's like $2, which is not bad. Anyway, but they're so much cheaper. You guys want to know what I spent at Aldi's like you want to know how much I spent at Aldi's I'll give you guys a minute to like a few seconds to like guess the total because oh my god you guys are gonna be shocked like literally shocked and I'll give you an example it is literally so much less than what I spent at Walmart and if you guys remember it was like $62 what I spent at Walmart so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick um, second to figure out how much it costs. Yeah, just a quick second. Are you guys ready? Ready? You wanna know how much it costs? $41. Yeah. It was $41. I'm telling you guys, if you have an OD where you live, go there. They have better deals. It may seem small to you, but it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Now I thought about this candle. Well, man, I'm at stoplight, but I bought this candle. Spiced apple cider. It smells so good. So like, this one was six ninety nine, I believe, six dollars and ninety nine cents. So good. I mean, look, look how beautiful the color is. It's it's fall season at my house, you guys. At least for me, it's fall season. And then they had bagels for my dad because like I didn't find them at Walmart, but they had them in Aldi. That was like, thank you. They had pumpkin spice bagels. I got those two. Me and my mom are gonna try them. But now, oh, and also I got ice cream. Fun fact, I don't like m and but they had these m and sandwiches, ice cream, vanilla. So I'm gonna try those as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a good day so far. So I can't wait to go home because I'm tired. Uh, it's like 2.51 and I'm tired. But I did wake up early. Fun fact, I didn't have an, my appointment today because something happened. And so, like, nothing bad happened, alhamdulillah. It was just, like, the insurance and my primary care doctor. But something did happen, so I ended up not having to go to my doctor's appointment. And I was so happy because I was dreading it completely. Like, oh, my God. But instead, I did my pumpkin spice coffee at home. I loved it. But I wish I didn't add like regular milk to it. But then I ended up adding hazelnut creamer in it. So it made it much better. Which I didn't put in as a video. But okay. And then like I, you guys saw what I did. Like I was just going over my schedule for this week. And I need to get studying. Which is why I need to use the flash card that I bought. And you know like study for my midterm. Um, and also, what else, what else? Man, I just, it was like a crazy morning. I woke up super early and then I ended up not having to go to the doctor. I could have just dropped in because I was extremely tired, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Ooh, I want to do a reaction video for the trailer. Even though, I mean, like, the episode 8 of House of the Dragon, even though I watched it, I just didn't do a reaction to it, but I'm gonna do it again because I completely now forgot what 
episode eight trailer is because I, I just got so we're gonna do that at home too you guys kind of get to see my room um if you're interested in a room tour which is not a big room by the way um but if you're interested in one let me know so i can do one for you if you're interested in a house tour I don't know probably not I wouldn't do that but yeah we're gonna go home now and I'll see you guys when we get home okay so now we're gonna react to episode 8 of house of the dragon you're gonna watch it with me let's get going as hand I speak with the king's voice on this and all other matters Tomorrow, the high towers land their first blow. Those vipers rule in my father's name. To King's Landing, then. The sea snake has taken a great wound in battle in the stepstones. Who will take the driftwood from? The crown cannot stand strong, but the house of the dragon remains divided. This is a matter of blood, not ambition. This is a trap. Nephews? The threat of war looms. What do I think? I just don't know what to think. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that was like the one with the most suspense ever uh oh where were you me Ow, what was that for it was nothing compared to the abuse your brother suffered when you were drowning when you cops you food what is the meaning of this Show me, show me. Back. Who did this? They attacked me. They attacked Baylor. They took Sloan. 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 They took my clock did not wake me up at 7.30. My mom had to wake me up at 8.10. So I am in a hurry to get to school right now. And it's like fall right now. Kind of fall-ish. It's kind of starting to be fall here in Tampa. Because when you wake up, it's uh, 63 degrees outside, which is cold. But you still have the sun to kind of warm you up. And yeah, so today is Tuesday. Uh, I don't have much going for, on for me except for the fact that I need to do some studying. I have a midterm and a final. So I need to do some, I mean, not a final exam, a second exam, like the second exam of the class. So I need to do some studying, obviously, and I need to study for my midterm. So, yeah, that's that. And I have a project due at the end of this month, like literally at the end of this month. So I need to get started on that and submit it while I can. And then I have a project, a group, Thing that's due today I mean not today not today it's Tuesday but due this week it's due this week and just yeah I mean I just have a lot going on my mind is kind of in a frenzy tomorrow the new week five vlog will be uploaded and yeah I just I'm just really like trying to get myself 
in order oh my god it is kind of cold i don't know why i have iced coffee when it's cold yeah you guys i have iced coffee not probably not the best choice i've ever made my iced coffee is like right here i thought it was gonna be hot this morning so i had my mom do iced coffee because i couldn't do it. I was just in a hurry to get out. So, yeah. This traffic is really bad. I'm just like getting scared. Of traffic right now. Okay guys, so I will see you when I get on campus. Sorry for this not turning like a okay, but yeah. Hey guys, so I just arrived on campus and I'm early now as usual. I'm like, it's like 8.52 right now. And I literally just got here, so I'm like early. So yeah, yesterday on Instagram, I posted a lot of episode seven of House of the Dragon memed. They were, they were just funny, I just couldn't, I will share it with you guys on the screen now, but it is so, so funny, I just, I had to cheer them, I had to, um, yeah, it was just, they were like hilarious ones, and I was just like, okay, but there were also some of them that I would, I had my actual reaction to it, like when I was watching the show and this particular thing came on, uh, but the scene where Damon comes in and he, and he like, you know, casually leans against the door like nothing, like he's not even being into anything. Bruh. This is my pumpkin spice latte. Like that was just such a funny scene and I love it. I love it. I am curious. Okay, don't do not get me wrong, guys. I am team black, but I'm kind of like I'm understanding on Allison's regard on her side of things. So like, I'm not team green, but I'm team black. But like, I sympathize with Allison. So I know I said I didn't like her, but that's because. But that was like before I reminded myself that they were great characters. So if you guys don't know what great characters are, it means that they have good and bad, like there's no just the villain and there's no just uh, the hero. Although there's one villain in the show, but um, we're not talking about that. So, you know, like they're all complex characters and that's what I like in the show. I like great characters more than just who's the hero and who's the villain. Because like in real life, People are great characters. Like, that's my opinion. People have good and bad. It's just the way that you intercept them into one another. It's the way that you make them connect to one another. It's the way that you make it, you know, how you show it, how you present it. So, like, for me, I think Allison, because she's been a good girl her entire life, right? Like she does what she would, she does what it does of her. She does everything. And yet she is the one that is constantly being screwed up. She is the one that is constantly being, you know, stuck. Like she's literally stuck in a palace. And you know, she had an old husband and she's made for squeezing out heirs to the throne. And so, like, she had this goodness inside of her, but at the same time, over the years, it just built up. It's like her frustration built up. She, we used to see in the earlier episode that she used to destroy her nails when she would get nervous. Like, she had bad anxiety, bad, you know, she would just destroy them. Now, she, she has all this frustration, all this anger, all this resentment on herself. That now she is not only uh, taking it on herself, but she also taking it on Rhaenyra's. Now this is where Rhaenyra's come in. 
she said that she didn't have sex with Damon, which is true. It's true. She didn't have sex with Damon, but she did have sex with the Kristen Cole and they know it's basically told Allison that she even swore to her that she didn't have sex. But I think this is where the big misconception was. The biggest thing was that Allison was asking me nervous that, did you have sex with Damon? And she said, no. Inez did lie to Allison. Like, I understand that. But Allison didn't ask, was there anybody else? Like, she just, she, she was specifically asking about Damon. So, but like, I don't know why she just went on the full on war escape thing because like she just started being ambitious so much and she just made that lie a big thing when it shouldn't have been big and like she just built on top of that anger and on top of that frustration yeah i mean like you you, you see like she's a complex character she had good and bad and like with the latest episode episode seven she literally wanted to take an eye from Rhaenyra's son because her son defend Rhaenyra's son defended himself from her son, from Allison's son, and he took an eye from Eamon. So now Allison wanted an eye from I think it was Luke, I believe. Yeah, I think that Allison wanted to take an eye from Luke as in revenge for Eamon who lost his eye. And so I mean that's where her explode her anger, her resentment exploded. And so like Rainier stepped in front of her son as soon as Allison took the blade. You guys that Valerian steel blade, oh my god. That was like she just took it from her husband while her husband was still in the room and she tried to go to Rainier's boy. And Rhaenyra just stepped in front of her son and shocked her. And like there was this whole big scene. Should I put it on the screen? I'm gonna put it on the screen. That scene was so powerful in a way because Allison was also telling my nearest everything going your way. Aren't you tired of it being laid at your feet? Like anything that you do is like not treason, but anything that I do, any sacrifice, anything that I do for my family, anything that I do for the Iron Throne, anything I do for Westeros, it's not, it's not good enough. It's not even good enough for the Seven Kingdom. Like, it's a treason. But anything that you do right now, everything is, like, not treason for you. Like, why are you, why are you getting this? So, a lot. It's a lot to process. It's a lot to pack up on. But, yeah, I mean, it's a very really amazing show. And I love it. I really love it. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys after my class. And, yeah. Thank you for listening to me rambling on. Like, I never knew how Allison and Rhaenyra's, like, they were, they were my favorite. Like, they're on the top five favorite. So, I mean, I just, it's an amazing show. It's an amazing show. 
Falling in the depths Trying to escape From this in love The hurt me so But I'm not brave I'm not brave Not enough Okay you guys, so we're at the cafeteria with my friend And she can't decide which sushi to get she said she wanted this because it's pretty, and I'm just like, it's, it's, it's gonna hurt your stomach. It's a killer for your stomach. So get this one. Make a decision, moment. She's going to make a decision, but we don't know which one she's gonna get. Stay tuned to find out more on me saying friendship drama. We have a winner. She decided to get this, not the shrimp killer stomach. Yeah, well, she decided to get this, so I'm happy now. I'm really happy. Hello, everybody. So, I'm gonna go home now. I hanged out a little bit. I wasn't feeling well. I couldn't do any work. I'm hungry. I want to go home and eat, rest. Not really much happened today. Uh, but if you guys saw that video of her deciding what to get, she didn't end up getting either of them. She got something different. So, you know that then. Okay, I'm gonna go home, probably edit House of the Dragons if I feel like it. I actually posted today on my fan page in an edit of the House of the Dragon, but it's Damon and Rhaenyra, so I'll put the picture up on the screen. But I actually really am proud of that edit. It's like the first time I've been proud of the edit in like forever. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Go home, get some rest, study, you know. Get that ball rolling. Good morning, everybody. So I am on my way to my friend's apartment right now. Uh, we were supposed to meet at 9.30, but now I'm late and I'm just like, eh. Today is 70 degrees and it's still beautiful. So I'm wearing like, I'll do a full body fit check later because I don't have time right now. But I'm wearing my old high school shirt and I'm wearing like this cute jacket on top of it because it's kind of chilly out. I think I mentioned that yesterday. It's kind of chilly outside today, so it's starting to get chilly like fall now. So we're just, you know, we're on our way to go there. Um, so this vlog is already getting so long, which I do apologize for, but you know, so now we're just gonna go. I'm gonna work out today's Wednesday as usual. I'm gonna work out and then come back home. And yeah, that is my day. I'm gonna go work out today and then come back. Basically my day right now. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I got my sheen order, so we're gonna open it up. Running the depths. Trying to escape from this in love The hurt me so But I'm not brave I'm not brave Not enough Okay, so I want to show you guys real quick This is what I got for my mom It's uh, like Iberia but it's in green like really beautiful it's for my mom not for me but i love it so it's cute for her i'm gonna put it on a hanger i got under caps they're like the ones i'm wearing but in white beige maroon red and dark green and there's like a kitchen essential thing that my mom i got for my mom this is my fit check. So this is shirt is from my high school that I bought in my senior year. This pants is from Ross or Tiger. I mean Ross or Michael. And my over sweater is from Ross. And my hijab is from either Modernista or I bought it with summer in Palestine. This has a hoodie, so you can wear it like this. Or you can just wear it without the hoodie and it would look like this. So, really cute, but I'm at home and I don't really feel like wearing this. 
The next, I got another phone case that had M on it for my AirPods. I had this different, different set of rings to mix and match because I, I'm obsessed with wearing rings. This one is a similar jacket. Well, it's like for the fall vibe. It's similar to the one that I got. The idea is that it's long and modest. In the back is longer, so that's good. In the front is good too. Let me open this. You could actually leave this open or you could just close it if you want to, your choice. But you could wear like a tight or like a shirt underneath it and it would look nice. So this is the idea, basically the same as my jacket. This is how it looks. To keep it open is much more nice. Yeah, it is on the back, very, very long. So it really covers you modestly. That's what I really like about it. So it's really nice. Um, you can always fix the sleeve, too long, too short, fix it, roll it up, your preference. The next thing is the dress. So you guys know my purple dress. If you don't, I'll leave a picture on the screen. But I got one in blue. And the reason for the blue one, because they have a lot of colors, green, blue, red purple i love the purple one but i could not wait to get the blue one and it looks even more beautiful than the picture this is very very beautiful so you know the same one is the purple one you can wear tights underneath it very very beautiful i love it the next one i don't know how to explain it the next and last thing that i got but I don't know how to explain it. Oh, it came with a belt. But it's a shirt, but it's the front is short and the back is long. So it's long sleeve. I think it's a quarter of a sleeve. Or I think, no, it's long sleeve, like a quarter of a sleeve. But that's not a problem because you can wear shirts underneath the came with the belt. I don't normally use the belt, but it's very beautiful. I like it. I cannot wait to wear it. So yeah, that is what I got from Shein. Good morning, guys. So I am gonna go to class. Um, brr, it's kind of late. It's like eight thirty eight, and my class is at nine thirty. So and I just left the house. So my just. Am I gonna make it? I don't know. It was here. So, literally eating a bagel because I don't really eat breakfast, but my dad was gonna eat it, but then he decided not to. But my mom asked me if I wanted to. I took it. I mean, I'm supposed to eat cream cheese with it, but. I didn't have the time to put the cream cheese. This is not the prettiest dialogue ever, but whatever. But it's just like pumpkin spice bagels. I can taste the pumpkin in there. Which is weird because, you know, everything that's labeled as pumpkin spice, or even just pumpkin in general, sometimes you can't taste the flavor of the pumpkin, so you taste other things. So, yeah, it's kind of surprising how they put pumpkin spice in a bagel. So last night, I actually edited another edit because I am stressed out and my anxiety is not really helping. So I was editing. And I did, I'll put the edit on the screen, but like I did a, um, a Rhaenyra and Damon edit again, because they, um, they are adorable. I love them. I ship them. Did it then. And yeah. I'm driving. I need to eat, drink my coffee. Talk to you guys when I get on campus. Hey guys, so we arrived at the campus like so much later. I mean, it's not late, it's like nine o'clock, which was on the dot, 
It's 9.07 right now, so that's good. I'm just still in my car, to be honest, like just chilling, drinking my coffee, because my mom made it, it's so good. She knows exactly what I need in coffee. Anyway, so small update. Yesterday, I forgot to mention that the video came out yesterday for week five. This is week seven video, so as why I want to talk about there's no week six, because week six was, if you watched the news, there was a Hurricane Ian that came to Florida, south of Florida specifically, and it went up towards Orlando, and it went up. It was going to hit Tampa, but then subhanAllah, it's like change. So it changed the direction instead of hitting Tampa directly, which is where I'm at. Like it did go through Tampa, but it didn't hit us as bad as we expected, subhanAllah. So, you know, Alhamdulillah, we're okay, we're safe. We were out of power, water, and electricity for 16 hours. And it didn't come back on until like 2 p.m. in the afternoon, which was funny because <laughs> the way me and my mom reacted after it came back on, we were like so happy. So, um, yeah, and that's why there's no weak sticks because I didn't do anything I was at home there was no electricity no nothing so there was no way for me to show you guys what I was experiencing and plus it wasn't that bad so it's not like an actual actual hurricane so I'm I'm fine alhamdulillah but there are a lot of people that are affected that lost their home their past and everything because of the hurricane so you know like yeah that's why there's no week six i just wanted to explain that to you guys because you're gonna look at the title and be like week seven but what happened to week six so yeah there's no week six and yeah also i've been annoying people that follow me on instagram if you follow me on instagram you will know that i've been <laughs> like I've been annoying people with the house of the dragons and stuff like that and I'm just like Yeah, I will see you guys today later on Hey guys, so it's a few hours later and I went to my tea shop because you guys know That I like to study there. I like to relax and you know vibe So I went there. I vibed a little bit. I got this new tea drink I'll put a video of what it actually looks like when you first get it on the screen this is the frankenstein drink it's like green apple and it's like really good and sweet and i actually like it really really good and worth it so now we're gonna go to a printing shop because the price price i need to check out what i can do for my stickers because i need to do that so yeah, we're gonna go to a printing shop and then all these and then we're gonna head home. It's 12.55. So yeah, let's just go. I'm falling in the depths, trying to escape from this love. The hurt me so. Good morning everybody and happy, happy Friday, Jama'a Mubarak. Um so today is the the video of the first day of October comes out. So it's basically what I do in the first day of October. And I was actually hanging out with my friend Haura. So it's actually a fun video and it's not really all that serious. So it's like a fun, you know, keeping it real kind of video. Because I would love to do more of those, just keeping it real. But not too, too real, but you know, still real. So. I'm on my way to go to my friend's apartment. I'm kind of late again, which I do not like doing because, oh my God, I just, I do not like being late, honestly, you guys. It gives me anxiety, it's like bad because you lose that precious time that you have with the person. And so our time is limited today because for personal reasons. And so I, um, I just don't like to lose or waste time. Today, I do a fit check later because I'm in a hurry and I'm obviously in my car. Can't do a fit check here. But yeah, we're gonna get going because, oh my God. 
people have it's literally crazy you guys hey guys so i just finished with my friend and now i'm gonna go to the printing shop and then i need to go to sam's for my mom and yeah we're just chilling today honestly i have to study for my exam which i am looking forward to because i found a way to study for it now am i still anxious about it yes but i'm gonna try not to you know remind myself that i'm anxious so i'm just gonna try to distract myself study as best as possible and shall i take it next week if i can because that would make it better and i can focus on the other exam i do need to study today tomorrow and i do need to do some other stuff as well so you know it's like a real crossing and cut so all i have been dreaming to like you guys my birthday is literally in like a month and I have been jamming to Katy Perry birthday song and I was just like yeah I'm obsessed with that song but like every day I have to listen to it to get me more hyped and more happy about my birthday which I absolutely cannot wait for because of my party which I will reveal next Like, I will reveal next week what theme I'm going to be doing for my party, so yeah. So, let's get going and enjoy today. I swear day. I'm falling in the depths, trying to escape from this in love. It hurt me so, but I For watching this week's vlog i know it's a, probably a long one but regardless thank you so much for watching this week and i hope to see you guys next week bye I'm falling in the depths.